So in the show, it's a really a play within a play. So each of us basically play dual roles. I play an actress in the music hall company whose name is Janet Conover. And then I also play, um, you know, just something subtle, Helena, Helena Landless in the, the Dickens play that we're putting on. So um, this is sort of the amped up version of Helena Landless that you're seeing for our production photo purposes and things. He's a, he's a charming um, bit of a villain. Uh, he runs this 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 company of Australian players and they're in dire financial straits so he has to find very quickly a way to fill the Theatre Royale um, every night. So he, he has this idea to do an adaptation of uh, Charles Dickens' unfinished novel, The Mystery of Edwin Drood. It takes place in 1895 in a music hall in London. And one of the great things, the pantomimes that they would put on there, the leading boy character would always be played by a recognized crossdresser. That's what Rupert has developed, and there's never a sort of, voila, look at me. The audience just should understand that there's a female under all that, and then they buy into the idea that she's the romantic young male lead. Well, I'm Princess Puffer and Angela Prysak. Angela Prysak is the actor, actress, and Princess Puffer is the opium den uh, owner. And she's the one that supplies the drugs and allows Jasper to go on his wild trips. Uh, the fun thing about Jasper, too, is he's schizophrenic. Uh, I think, uh, as Rupert said, pre-Jekyll and Hyde, before Jekyll and Hyde was even a thought, or that kind of thinking, it, it, he, Dickens wrote this character to be kind of both, you know, worlds, which is, I mean, a dream to get to play, and I get to sing these fabulous tunes, and so, um, that, that, to me, that's the most fun. I, of course, my lovely uh, Stephanie Block on stage with me, you know, I'm a little maniacal with her, which is a lot of fun. Everybody sort of is, has these dualities, which, which is neat, so the audience gets to see us uh, be in sort of the Victorian world, uh, in our present as actors and then also in the Dickens story. So I think William Ivy Long has done an amazing job uh, of, of presenting the chairman. Yeah, I, I feel really comfortable in this. In, in my case, stepping into the shoes is always very important. I think shoes are very important as I do have to move a little and dance a little and sing a bit. Uh, it's important that you, you're you know, balanced, that you, your feet feel good. I've tried on a couple things uh, at William Ivy Long studio and then the great thing about my costumes, which has never happened to me before, is I get to go to a men's tailoring shop. So this is the first time <laughs> to be in a Broadway wardrobe, but yet everything is tailored to a man. So I've seen a lot of the pieces, but today will be the first time that the wig, the face, it all sort of comes together. So I'm just as anxious as, you know, the media and everybody else to see what it looks like. Rupert has been very active. He's been in rehearsals. I mean, if we have questions about things, he's there. If we have, um, you know, musical things or if certain lyrics are switched, sometimes they, you know, we've been changing things, things like that. It's wonderful because he's, he's right there and he's so anxious to just serve the piece as, as best he can and and he's been wonderful too in just taking what we're bringing to it and our energies and things like that and really embracing it so it's fun when it's when it's that sort of relationship with the composer and writer uh, I think eight murders and there's another couple of other people and twists within the show that we're going to vote on as well but uh, and we're still trying to debate whether we want to know on stage who the murderer is the murderer will find out after the audience votes, when we get backstage, the murderer will find out, obviously, and then there's a person who announces it. But we're still, still trying to debate whether we actually, as cast members, want to know. It'd be more fun to go, oh, it was, you know, <laughs> oh, it was Jim Norton. Um, it was Gita Rivera, you know. Um, so it, it, there's still fun to be had. And we rehearsed, you know, we rehearsed the other day. We rehearsed all the endings. And it took about, you know, two and a half hours. But it was fun. It, you know, it's very complex. The audience won't be able to follow it. It's just us. We're the only ones that don't understand <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Things are being written every single day because there are so many opportunities for so many different endings. He's written completely new scenes for the murderers, for who Detective Datchery is, and especially for the lovers. The sort of comedy that he is um, finding and expressing this time around is so great, and I think the audience is going to be just raucous and laughing with us every step of the way.